guys, welcome back to the Fit Series, Pilates High Intensity Interval Training, where we pair up those high intensity cardio movements with our slow, controlled, body weight, no equipment, Pilates strength based movements. So today is fit back. So we'll be strengthening, you know, our shoulder blades, our lats. We'll get a little bit of glutes and hamstrings, but we're really focusing on the upper back, not really the whole back body. But there's a couple exercises that will overlap with those legs, and you better bet yourself the cardio parts are gonna hit the legs. So we're just gonna warm it up. So if you have a heart rate monitor, start that guy, and let's get right into it. Interlace your fingers. I want you to place your cupped hands at the back of your head. Elbows are just in your periphery, and I want you to press your head back into your hands. Now that's really important that the latter or the opposite isn't happening. You're not pushing your head forward, right? You're actually actively pushing your head back. That's gonna help us strengthen our posture muscles, the muscles in the back of the neck. So that's the kind of that Pilates component we're working with there. Feet are hips distance in parallel. We're in the warm up for about three straight minutes. No intervals in the warm up. Shoulders sink down. We're starting with footwork. You're gonna send your hips back and down. Try to bring your hips in line with your knees. Press your head back at the bottom. Drop your tailbone down and then squeeze up through your glutes. Good, so you're gonna inhale, send those hips back. Bring your hips down. Make sure your head does not get pressed forward here. Rather, you're actively pushing the back of your head back and exhale, lift back up. So from the side, when we drop down into our footwork, we're one long line in the spine. We're on a diagonal, so we're not totally upright, but we wanna make sure that that chest is staying open and the head is not diving forward. Good, breathe in, hips go down. Nice and slow, drop into it. Breathe out, press and drive through your feet, squeeze up. Good, we're here, 15 more seconds. Breathe in, take it down. Breathe out, draw yourself up to standing. Good, one more for me. Breathe in, take it down. Breathe out, exhale, come back up to standing. Okay, hands stay behind the head. Feet are staying hips distance parallel. Give me a micro bend in those knees. We're gonna flat back. Hinging forward, so at the bottom, your head and your tailbone make one line. Push your head into your palms, squeeze your glutes, come back up to standing. Angle your hips up and your tailbone down. Lift your chest, press your head back into your hands. Come back to neutral. Micro bend in the knees, we hinge forward. Strong core, upper traps down. Do not fold, forward fold here, it's a flat back. Press up through your glutes. Scoop the hips up towards your chest. A little bit of extension. Okay, 20 seconds here. Inhale, flat back. This is like a deadlift position. We're using the hamstrings to pull us back up. And when we're hinged forward, it's a lot of core and back strength to hold us in that position. That's why we're pausing at the bottom. Good, one more here. Inhale, hinge forward. Gazing slightly out in front of you so that face doesn't fall towards the floor. And then exhale, squeeze from your glutes, rise up. Lift the heart up into extension and keep that low back still. Do not stick your butt out behind you. Exhale back to center. Woo, release the arms. Okay, feet are hips distance. We're coming into a forward fold. You're gonna let your back round. Hands to the ground. Then bend your knees, come onto your fingertips, flatten out your back, no longer rounded, and reach your arms up overhead with your palms facing each other. Release the hands, round the back, forward fold. Come up onto your fingertips, reach your tailbone back and your chest forward, we're flat. Abs are engaged, reach your arms overhead, pull those shoulders down. Release your hands to the mat and fold. Give me one more like that. Inhale, bend the knees so that you can lengthen your spine. You should be completely flat in this mid-back. Then reach those arms overhead, pull your shoulders down, get those arms up by your ears. Release the hands down, bend the knees, roll it up. Okay, we're taking into a cardio move to finish our warm up. Back jacks, feet apart. When you jump them together, clap your hands behind your back. Right here, I just need a little 30 second push. Clap your hands behind you. Jump it open, close. So here's the deal. We'll take a quick little breather after this movement. We're gonna get into our intervals. The intervals are one minute of each Pilates move, 15 second break, 
45 seconds of the cardio move, 15 second break. Okay, let's finish this warm up in five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. Heart rate should definitely be up. How are we doing? Oh yeah, I'm like peak heart rate. It's funny when you first start, that happens. So we're gonna begin with our Pilates intervals. Take it down to the mat. Remember today, our focus is our back. So that also means articulation and twisting. Legs, hips distance straight out in front of you. Lift your spine up. Interlace your fingers. Place them behind your head. Good, from here I want you to push your tailbone into the floor, so do not let your butt lift up when we go forward. Pull your rib cage up, round forward, push the back of your head into your palms, pull up through your belly, we're in our spine stretch. Inhale, roll up, restack, press your head back into your hands. If you're tight in your chest, that should create a chest stretch. Good, root your sits bones, push them into the floor, draw your belly into your sacrum, right here into that low back. Then round forward by staying tall in the low back. Lifting up through the chest, dropping your chin towards it. Inhale, roll up like there's a wall behind you and restacking your back up against it. Grow tall, press your head back. Drop those shoulders down. Now that low back should stay where it is. Pull your rib cage in and up. Push the back of your head into your hands. Drop your chin to your chest. And then roll up, restack. We're gonna take one more. Exhale, pull up through your belly button. Keep your low back where it is. So I don't want you to just sink into this movement. Your low back should not go behind you. It should be stacked over your pelvis. Pull up, 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 try to grow tall through the low back. And then inhale, restack. Press your head back, stretch through that chest. Release the hands. Awesome work. Sitting up tall is surprisingly challenging. So we have our short little break and our next move is going to be spine twist. Feet are planted, hips distance apart and parallel. Now the object of this is that the knees don't move. If the knees move, then you're twisting the whole body rather than from your waist and what we wanna do is twist from that waist. Interlace your hands. Place your hands at the back of your head and push your head back into them. Do not let your knees move as we turn our chest to the right, then turn further for three, two, one. Come back to center. Drop the shoulders, twist it over to the left. Turn further, 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 center. Now be honest with yourself. If your knees are moving, then don't turn as much until you can stabilize through the lower half of your body. Inhale, come center, lift up through that chest. And then exhale, rotate through your waist to the left, turning further, further, further. Breathe in in the middle. Keep your inner thighs hugging in. That doesn't mean the legs have to touch. It just means that we're not letting those knees just like flop open here. So I'm actively pushing my feet down into the ground, which is gonna use some of that low belly strength. Okay, you got 20 seconds here. Head back when you twist. Head back into those hands. Inhale, center. When I'm going to the left, I gotta make sure my right hip, right leg does not slide forward. Good, inhale, center, sit tall, and exhale, release. Awesome job, just round that back. Woo, some serious posture work. Okay, next move is saw. Legs are as they are right now. Hands behind your back again. Press your head back, drop your shoulders down. So basically saw is an add-on from a spine twist. So first, do not let those knees move. Twist yourself over to the right. Then keep your left side pulling back. Dive your left elbow outside of your right thigh, hook it, and push your elbow against your leg and your belly back. Inhale, sit up tall, unwind. Let's take that right. Twist your right side to the left. Now make sure you haven't left the ground with your right hip. Pull your abs back and bring your right elbow outside of your left thigh, pull your right waistline back. Inhale, lift it up. So we're gonna continue to alternate. We twist right. Don't let your left hip lift. Dive that left elbow outside of the right leg and press your elbow and your knee together as you pull your belly back. Inhale, lift up. Unwind, good, we're gonna twist it now to the left. 
Right elbow outside the thigh, press your elbow and thigh together. Lift your navel. Roll up, restack. Let's do one more each way. We twist, dive up and over, get some height. Lift, center. Still trying to stabilize through those hips. Dive, pull back through that right rib cage. Lift, center, release. Awesome job. We're standing it on up. We got our first cardio push in about 10 seconds. So just watch me. You're going to bring your left foot forward, right leg back, right arm forward. We got one jump lunge and then eight arm sprints. Okay, we're on in four, three, two, one. Right arm forward, left leg forward, jump. Pump the arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jump. Eight pumps. The right arm should land in front each time. One jump, eight arm sprints. Like you're gearing up to sprint a marathon. Or not really sprint a marathon, but sprint to the Gucci bag. <laughs> Good, you got 20 seconds. Jump lunge, pump those arms. Jump, pump. Good, you're here, 10. Final five, four, three. Give me one more time through. Jump, eight pumps and step it up. Good work. Okay, we're repeating that over on the right leg. Breathe in, breathe out in five seconds. So let's set up right leg forward, left toes back behind you, one jump, eight arm pumps. Here we go, we're down. Jump up, pump the arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left arm should land in front each time. I want you to just smooth that breath out, just like we practice in Pilates. Right, big breath in, deep breath out, work hard, and keep the quality of the movement. If it's getting sloppy, of course, take a break, reset, slow it down. If you're feeling good, let's push it, push it. 15 seconds. 10. Give me one more right here. Jump, pump, and stand it up. Woo, first leg move. That's really challenging of the day. Good job, we're taking it down to some planking. So, we're gonna do protraction, retraction on this left arm. The shoulder blade's gonna round, then it's gonna pull to the spine. Modification is both hands down. Advance, just that left hand. So toe is tucked behind you, we're up in a plank. You'll tend to your right hand. We'll focus on this left shoulder blade. Shoulder blade goes into the back body, and then the shoulder blade leaves the spine, and you actively push out of that left hand. Shoulder blade draws in, shoulder blade widens. Inhale, bring it to the spine. Exhale, press it away from it. So if your elbow is bending, you are not doing this correctly. It's not a movement from your arm, it's a movement from your upper back. Now that's not a kick on you for doing it wrong, no worries. Just reset, watch me for a second. Pay attention to my left shoulder blade. Moving away from the back, and then I'm squeezing it to the spine. Nice job, guys. Keep those abs in. You have 15 seconds. Draw it in, press it away. Hips are squared, abs are working. Bonus effect, we're here for five, Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna repeat that in 15 seconds on the right arm. So look at my shoulder blade. It pulls to the back, then it moves away. Pulls to the back, moves away. Not a push up. Okay, come into the plank. Right palm planted, feet tucked, tent your left hand. So there's not a lot of pressure in the left hand. Modification, both hands down. Here we go, right shoulder blade moves to the spine and then it widens. Draw it in, push it away. Low belly lifts. Try not to stick your butt up in the air. So we're still in a nice quality plank. Good, we're focusing on moving from that right shoulder blade. Take your time, it's not a rush here. So remember during these hit intervals, we really move fast. We gotta remind ourselves to kind of slow it down again when we go back into our Pilates movements. Pull it in, press it away, awesome job. Give me five more seconds. Five, 
four, three, two, one. And rest those knees. Awesome. Okay, take a breath. It's more planking, don't you worry. From here, we're going to take a twist, so just like our spine twist. Left hand behind the head, you're gonna turn and bring your elbow to your other elbow, the inside of it, and then open your chest up without opening your hips up. In a plank. Not as easy as I demonstrated. Hands planted, toes tucked. Bring the left hand behind the head. Bring your left elbow to your right arm. Now open your chest up, try to stack your shoulders without letting your left hip open. Good. Turn your chest towards the right arm. Now turn it towards the left wall without opening those hips. Good, twist to the mat. Open it up. When you open it up, push your head into the hand. Just like we started, do not push your hand into your head. Good, you got 20 seconds here. Try to keep those hips down. I know mine want to lift to make it easier. Well, we didn't show up to make it easier. You're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, last one, 3, 2, open it up, and set it down. Okay, 15 seconds, we're repeating that with the right arm. Breathe in, breathe out, that's the lovely thing about intervals, you get a quick little break. So set up, hands underneath your shoulders, quick, not long, <laughs> toes tucked. Left hand is sing on the mat, right hand behind the head. Right hip bone points to the floor. Bring your right elbow to touch the inside of your left arm. Then open your right arm up without opening your right hip up, yeah? Good, twist to the left arm. Now open your chest and angle that right hip down. Beautiful. Turn to the floor. Turn open to that right wall. Think of your right shoulder stacking on top of the left. And it's almost like the front of your hips want to twist the other way. That's going to give us that thoracic rotation. Breathe in. Breathe out. 15 seconds right here. I don't let your booty lift. Awesome. Woo, I'm feeling it so much in my back. I love it. We have 10, 9, 8, Seven, give me one more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Woo, that upper back is gonna feel strong. Okay, so all of these movements are matching our spine twist. Or sorry, that's this one. <laughs> and then the next one's gonna match our saw. So it's a twist and a rounding of your back body. So, plank pose. Left arm's gonna reach outside the right leg. Toes tucked, left arm reaches overhead, hip square. Send your hips up and back into down dog and reach your left hand outside of your right leg. Roll forward, back to plank, reach that left arm overhead. Shoulders stay down, press back. Downward dog and reach the left hand to the right. Good work, inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, pull it back. Good, so making sure we're staying strong in this right shoulder blade. In plank and in downward dog, I do not wanna see your shoulder touching your neck or your ear. You should be pulling it away and down. Nice, slow and controlled, 20 seconds. Breathe in, stretch that left arm overhead. Breathe out, reach it past that right leg. Breathe in, long line in the spine. Breathe out, touch that back right corner. One more, inhale, reach long. Exhale, reach back. Set your knees down. 15 seconds, and we take it over to the other side. So do what you need during your break. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Don't check your phone, stay with me. You guys ready? Yes, that's the answer, here we go. High plank. Toes tucked, right arm overhead. Send the hips up and back. Reach past your left leg with your right hand. Then roll forward into plank. Reach that right arm overhead. Down dog. 
pull your abs in, reach your arm past that left leg, and then lengthen. Now when you're in your plank, square your right hip to the mat. Keep weight in your right foot, and when you're in downward dog, pull your right hip back. Do not let it twist with your chest, just like we were practicing in the other movements. Breathe in, breathe out. 20 seconds right here, guys. This also feels like a nice stretch in the back body at the same time. So we've got work and length. And 10 seconds, you have a break, and we hit our next cardio move in five, four, three, two, one. Knees down. Stand on up for me. You're gonna take a breath. A breath. We got a side lunge with a kick over. So watch me, and I'll tell you when to move. You're gonna step left. Hips go back. Kick your left leg forward across. Forward side lunge. Okay, we're on. Here we go. 45 seconds. Side lunge left. Kick it forward cross. Kick it forward side lunge. And then pick up the pace. You can have your hands on your hips. You can reach them out to the side. It just kind of depends where you need them for balance. Make sure you hinge from your hips, meaning your hips go back, your chest goes forward, but it doesn't round. Remember how we kept that flat spine during the warm up? I need to see that here. More than halfway, I almost said less than halfway. That's not great news, I wouldn't report that. Good, hips back, kick it over. You have 10 seconds right here. Make sure those shoulders stay down for four. Three, two, one. Okay, cardios are just 45 seconds. So take a break, walk it out. We're gonna repeat this over on the other side. You ready? Right leg leads, here we go in four, three, two, and one. Step right, booty back, kick across. Kick forward, step right, okay? Pick it up, 45, on the clock. Let's see some height on those jumps. Try to leave that floor with your left foot. Awesome, awesome. Whoo! Don't you love getting the heart rate up? It's a little uncomfortable sometimes. Sometimes it's more like mentally tough than physically tough, right? It's like, oh yeah, my body's doing great, but like mentally, we gotta connect with it, we gotta stay with it. You got this, you got this. Less than 20. Less than 10. We have five, four, three, two, one more, one. Okay, breathe, 15 seconds. We take it to a standing back strengthener. Whew. Okay, flat back is the most important thing here. So, if your back is doing this, you need to come higher up. Okay, this should be straight, like a table. Arms to a goal post shape. Shoulders down, feet hips distance, bend your knees, hinge forward. If you can, I want your chest in line with your butt. Shoulders down, I'll squeeze your back together, release. Lift an inch, lower an inch. Contract the shoulder blades, release. Make sure your hands are not lower than your elbows. Press your elbows towards the floor. Press your fingernails towards the sky. Draw your rib cage in. Awesome work, guys, squeeze that back. Okay, you have one minute here, we're 20 seconds into it. It's slow, it's controlled, it's form. Good, rib cage. Pull the bottom of your rib cage down. Press the front of your rib cage into the body. Good, pull your face away from the floor. Don't let your head hang, we are working posture. This should be hard, let it be hard. That's how we get stronger. Awesome job, guys, 15. And we're here, 10. Slow, not fast, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, you guys feeling that? Take a little break. The next one is going to be in the same position a lat pull down. You're gonna reach overhead and then pull your elbows to your waist. Now your wrists should not face each other, they should face the floor. 
Here we go, one minute, feet hips distance. Hinge forward, micro bend in the knees. So from the goal post, you'll pull your elbows to your sides. Notice I didn't go into a row. Palms face the floor, reach overhead. Keep your arms up and your shoulders down. Then pull back, squeeze your shoulders down rather than together. Think of pulling your shoulders towards your low back. When you reach your arms overhead, go for a full extension, lengthen through those elbows. You guys should be like, oh my gosh, my back is on fire. Keep your arms up, you're halfway. Pull down and back, good work. Breathe in, lengthen, breathe out, pull down. 18 seconds. Woo, that posterior chain is getting strong. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, quality over quantity. Give me one more good one. 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my gosh, is that crazy? No weights, dripping sweat, good news. Okay, we have one more Pilates move before we go into our next hit interval. Take your feet wide. Your arms are gonna be overhead with your palms facing in, alternating side lunges. Hinge forward, shoulders down. You're gonna bend your right knee. Left leg straight, then bend your left knee. Right leg straight, so you're just alternating side to side. I'm gonna show you sideways. Now, when I'm in this side lunges, I'm keeping a flat back. I am not here. That's not gonna work your upper back. This is. You can always modify by bending the elbows to a cactus shape. That's gonna make it a lot less intense. Okay, you're on, we got 30 seconds here. I am not straightening both of my legs at the same time. I am keeping one knee bent. Pull your lats down. Get your arms up, chin off your chest. 13 seconds, draw that navel in. For 10, nine, eight, seven, straighter arms, six, elbows point to the floor, five, four, three, two, one more, and stand it up. Oh my gosh, this whole part of my back is on fire. <laughs> okay, here we go. Cardio move. Let's walk through it real quick. Legs together, we're gonna lead with the right leg for the first 45 seconds. You're going to jump up, land low, jump open. Down right, down left. Up right, up left. Close, jump up, okay? Follow me, 45 seconds. Open right, open left. Down right, down left. Up right, up left. Jump together, jump up. Now just follow my lead. Shoulders are down. We've worked into a lot of posture in this class, right? So we're opening the chest up and we're strengthening that upper back. Good, you're halfway. Leading with that right leg. Close, jump down, jump open. Good work, 15 seconds. Let's push that pace. Good, game phase, let's get it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, we're gonna do that to the left. 10 seconds, we're on. In five, four, three, two, legs together. We jump up, land low. Open left, open right. Down left, down right. Up left, up right, jump together. Up, down. Find that breath. Woo! Good, you can always put an extra pillow underneath those knees for sure. Okay guys, halfway. Woo! Close it, jump it up, bring it down. 20 seconds on the clock. Then we're back into Pilates. So it's short and sweet. 15. Okay, tempo, let's increase it, let's get it, 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. That's how you get the quads to fire up, huh? Okay. Break. Walk it out. You're going to bring it to the mat in 10 seconds, but I want your heart rate to come down a little bit. Okay. Meet me on the mat for some supermans. So, nothing fancy here. 
I want you to focus on form. We have one minute. Arms to a V. Palms face in. Shoulders down, ribs in, belly up. You're gonna float everything up. Arms, legs, chest, hold one, two, three. Take it down. Form. That's what we're focusing on here. So your arms are not bent. They're not this low. They are one straight and two up. And the arm bone is pulling into the socket. Okay, here we go, 40 seconds. We're up, squeeze. Those shoulders down. Imagine you have a masseuse right there at your shoulders and they're pulling your shoulders, your upper traps, down off your neck. Visualize that and then use the strength of your body to hold those arms there. Good, make sure this is not going into your low back. If so, you can keep your legs down or take them wider. Breathe in, lift up. Breathe out, lower down. Give me 10 seconds. Looking to the floor, not forward. Last one. Breathe in. Squeeze those shoulders up. Lift those arms up. And release. Press to kneeling. We're going into a rear fly, so just watch me. Modification. Knees down. Make a fist with your right hand. Turn your thumb up. You're going to hold your right arm out to the side and squeeze your shoulder blade to your back and release. So look at my back. I'm squeezing it in and out. It's not this. It's not the elbow, it's my back. Okay, we're gonna do this in all fours. So you're gonna hover your knees off the mat. Lift your belly, take your right arm out to the side and then pulse your right arm up. Okay, one minute, hips to the floor. My advanced friends, you're gonna send your left leg straight back behind you. Now this right leg is not straight, it's pretty bent. Knee is close to the floor. Awesome, try to keep that squaring of your hips and chest. Woo! Definitely a balance challenge, so that core is active here. Squeeze, lift. Squeeze, lift. Beautiful. Smooth that breath, 20 seconds. Yes, you can, that's what you're telling yourself. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Holy hardness, right? You guys all feel that in your shoulder blade? Shake it out, we're gonna do that to the other side. So all fours, and yes, your knees can absolutely stay down. Hands underneath the shoulders, so here's the first option. Knees down, beginner. Toes tucked, lift, intermediate. Chest forward, so make sure your butt's not lifting up, your legs aren't straightening. Advance, that right leg is gonna extend back behind you. Remember, your back is flat like a table. Your chest is reaching forward, and that left knee is nice and low, yes? Ma'am, yes sir, get it down there. Breathe in, breathe out. You are strong, you're halfway. Squeeze the back. You can always alternate between being up, being down. Just try to keep working that left arm. Use that core. Push out of your right hand. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my gosh, that side was starting to get a bit hard for me. Woo! Okay. We have one more move here before we hit our last cardio move. We're going to do a lat pull down in that same position. So, that's this guy right here. Palm faces the mat, okay? All fours. Right arm is gonna start. Left hand underneath the shoulder. Knees up, abs in. Right arm overhead, pull the elbow to your waist. Sliding the shoulder blade down, reach the arm overhead. Make sure your right hip is not opening up. This right hip should point to the floor. Pull it down, squeeze. Reach it back overhead. Okay, you got it. You're 20 seconds down. Keep the back of your neck strong. Good, stay really lifted in your belly. Fully extend overhead now. Try not to drop your arm when it gets tired. Lift it up. Good, you got 5th, 
15 seconds. Let that heart rate get up. Let that breath get a little choppy and smooth it out for 10. For eight, seven, six. You got this. Give me one more. Reach, retract, set it down. I'd say these are pretty hard moves, wouldn't you? Advanced body weight training, baby. 10 seconds, left arm. So palm to the floor, yeah? Not a row. A lap pull down. Here we go. Hands underneath the shoulders. Toes tucked, knees up. Left arm overhead. Pull the elbow to you, reach it out. Okay, this is our last like plank style movement today. So knowing that, do what you can do. If you need to set your knees down, you do that. Good, but I just want your best effort, not mine, not your friends, not your neighbors. Okay? Yes, you can. That's what you're telling yourself. 30 seconds right here. Squeeze that left shoulder blade down. Pull it into your back left pocket. Draw your navel up. Breathe in, lengthen through the fingertips. Draw down through the shoulder, exhale, 20 seconds right here. 20 short, sweet seconds. And we have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, last one, 3, 2, 1. Oh my gosh, is that back lit? Yes it is, come up to standing. Last cardio move, you ready? So, hands to your hips. It's a front lunge. We're gonna go left leg for 45 seconds. Step front, drive off the leg, hop it up. You ready? Let's hit it. Left leg, drive off, hop. Step forward, drive up, hop. So the power is sending you back. Good work, let's cruise. I'm gonna turn to see you. How's it going, how's it going? Only 25 seconds left on this leg. And it's done. Shoulders down, quality form, let's get it. 15, hop off that right leg, 10. In five, four, three, two, one. Back body, but talk about the legs. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. Five seconds, right leg. You ready? Last cardio move. In four, three, two, lunge. Drive off, hop. 45 seconds on the clock. You could always take the hop out. Yeah? You could always amp that pace up. 35. Let's see that energy. Let's see that commitment. Let's see those goals. Lay it out for me right now. Drive off. Good, more than halfway, we've got this. Focus on this moment. Push through the struggle, cause you're mentally tough. 10, nine, eight, seven, let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. That back leg, that poor thing. Walk it out and breathe for me. Okay, we've got last round of strengthening base moves, and then we'll do some back bend stretches. Okay, come down, lay on your belly. You're gonna make a frog shape with your legs. Heels together, knees, heart out, shoulder distance apart. Not crazy wide. If you're a dancer, bring it in a little bit. Fingertips to your ears. One minute, you're gonna lift your hips and your chest, lower down just one inch. So we're not gonna rest. We're only going up and down one inch. So this is a little hamstring work. It's also low back extension, that's why I put it in here. So it's not bad to extend your low back when doing it with good form, right? So I just want you to make sure it's not a, a thrust, it's not high, it's a controlled lift. If you're thrusting your legs to get them up, unfortunately, you're actually not using strength. You're just using kind of like momentum and willpower, right, to kick your legs rather than lift. Very different. Shoulders down. Pelvis, that pubic bone, is pushing actively down 
into the floor. So you should feel like there's a good amount of weight on the front of your hips. Now this is way below your belly button. If you feel like where your belly button is, it's digging down, you need to lengthen your tailbone to the back of the room. Because what's happening is you're crunching your low back and we don't want that. You have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, rest. Okay, we have two moves left. It's a unilateral movement, so each side is gonna do it one time. Okay, you ready? We are ready, the answer is yes. Pilates V, arms overhead, palms face in, push down into your pinky to lift your chest up. Now your right leg is gonna cross over into the side of your left leg. Legs are hovering, good, tailbone is tucked. I'm using my right inner thigh to squeeze up and lower, up and over. Up and over, back in line with the right hip. Good, so it's a little inner thigh movement, but we're working that low back. Modification, head down, no problem. Modification, lower your left leg. Okay, keep working that right leg. You're halfway here on the right. So this is that lower back that's working. Our chest is up in extension, but we've got the arms helping us here. So I'm not making you just hold that chest up. Last 15, good, we have 10, nine, Eight, seven, squeeze those upper inner thighs together for five, four, three, two, one. Rest the legs. I want you to just rock your hips right and left. Now, if you're someone, because I'm actually feeling this, I'll show you, that feels it in the front of their pelvis, like right here. I'm getting a lot of pressure because I'm on wood. Roll your mat up, put a pillow there. Okay, arms out in front of you, pinkies. To the floor, palms face in, Pilates V, float the legs up. That feels a lot better for me. Cross that left leg or over and back to center. Over the right leg, back to center. And ballet, this is called a susu. You're squeezing those legs together. Okay guys, legs up, chest up, shoulders down. You are outside of 40 seconds of this strength training portion of class. We're gonna move into a nice little back bend series that is more, uh, not like this, but I won't call it easy. <laughs> Good job, 25. Keep rooting that pelvis into the floor to create length in the low back, to fill up the low back so there's less of a dip into the body there. Good, 15, squeeze up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, press back a much deserved child's pose. I'm very proud of you. This is pretty advanced body weight based hit and strength training. Hips side to side. You can drop your head if you'd like. Just loosen up that low back. Woo. Okay, walk it in, come to an all fours. Push out of your hands, tuck your pelvis, lift your belly. Awesome job. Okay, we're gonna stretch a bit, but I don't want you to mistake that for thinking that it's like the workout is over. It's still gonna be challenging. Okay, so your arms are overhead. Your legs are straight back behind you. We're gonna alternate, opposite hand, opposite leg. You're gonna reach your right arm back behind you. Grab the inside of your left foot with your palm facing in. Kick back, slide the left arm to you. Evenly weight across the pelvis. Glide yourself forward. Reach the right arm forward, palm in. Circle the left hand back, palm faces in, thumb points down. Kick your foot back and let that glide your chest up. Exhale, slide down. Continue to alternate. Circle that right hand back. Push the pelvis down and feel weight on the right and left hip. Draw the left shoulder blade to the back so you're square and open in the collarbone. Slide it down, let's do one more. Left hand sweeps back, grab the inside of your foot, kick back, lift up, nice and proud. And exhale, release it down. Child's pose, in between these stretches, they're only gonna get more intense. Drop your butt, round your back. Okay, roll it forward, we're going into rocking prep. You're gonna bend your heels to your butt, 
Grab the outside of your feet with your hands, thumb points down. Good, narrow the knees. Draw the inner thighs towards each other, not to touch, but have an idea of your knees not splaying. Then kick your shins back, peel your heart up. Then you can float your legs. Flex your feet. Now I want you to move your chest and face forward and imagine someone's pulling your shins back. Take a breath and release. Awesome job. Press up, come to all fours, tuck and round, belly lifts. Okay guys, we are going to go into full wheel. If this is not an option for you, you're gonna lay on your back and do a bridge hold to strengthen the back of the legs. Yeah, okay. So here we go. Your bridge hold, I'll demo real quick, will look like this. Feet hips distance, you're gonna lift your butt up, squeeze your glutes, roll your inner thighs down, feel even weight distributed from the right and left side of the feet. If you're coming up into full wheel, we will take one variation or you can hold it, okay? So first, fingertips point towards your shoulders. Elbows are narrow. They should be in line with your shoulders and pointing towards the back wall. Tuck your pelvis, come onto the top of your head. Draw your elbows in and your shoulders down. Then press up and come up into your high bridge. Good, I want you to feel the inside of your foot down so your knees aren't rolling open like this. Push into your feet. Now we're gonna walk our bridge. So you're gonna go one foot, one hand. Yep. And then other hand, other foot. So you're alternating right, left, right, left. And then you can walk it the other way. Right foot, left hand, left hand, right foot. Yep. Just something fun to kind of play around with. Good. And then find your bridge. Pull your chest through your arms. Bend your elbows. Roll it down. That was amazing. Come up to a seat. A little walking bridge, why not? Or a swinging bridge, which we would not want if we were driving over ourselves. Okay, butterfly. Bottoms of the feet together. You're gonna grab your knees. For this one, I want your back to round. We just extended that spine for like 40 minutes. Um, so let's do the opposite. C curve. That should feel really nice. Awesome work. Roll up. You're going to take your legs out in front of you. Bolt them together and keep your knees, let's say like four inches off the ground. So again, pull your abs back round your spine. Grab your feet or your ankles and pull back through your core. More flexible. Grab the feet and do this. Good. Then bring your belly to your thighs. Rest on it and drop your head down. More flexible. Straighten the legs, but let's keep a micro bend in those knees. Awesome. Rolling it up. Okay, bend the right knee deeply. Point it straight forward and cross that left leg over it. Now you're going to walk your feet apart any amount. Sit some weight over into this hip, this top hip, this left hip. Now this could already feel kind of intense. It's gonna be a stretch for the left hip. Also, it's gonna get the low back as we start to fold forward, which is what we want. I want you to kind of round that low back, push your hips into the mat. When you shift forward with your chest, make sure your butt hasn't left the floor. Push it into the ground. Okay, I want three big deep breaths here. Every time you exhale, allow yourself to fold into the work. Try to walk it up. Okay, let's find that on the other side. It's gonna bend that left knee deeply, point it forward, cross that right leg over top. Now bring the feet apart so they're not on your hips. Sit down into the right hip. Ooh, one side could be tighter than the other, I'm certainly feeling that. Oh my gosh, how sweaty are we? Crazy. Walk it forward, you're gonna fold, relax the shoulders, and then use that breath to deepen the stretch. Exhale your way towards the floor. Give me one more full breath in. And a deep breath out. 
Roll it up, cross your ankles. We're gonna stretch the lats because we worked those guys today. So you're gonna bring your right hand over to the right, fingers point out. I want you to push off the floor rather than lean into it. This is gonna anchor the hips. Drop your shoulders, reach that top arm overhead, palm down, elbow points to the ceiling, or actually, sorry, in front of you, not the ceiling, so we don't want this. Take your elbow and point it towards me. More flexible, you'll bend your elbow on that right side, but if your butt lifts, no, no, no. Come back up. Breathe, lengthen, open that side up and breathe in to this waistline. Head back, heart open. We'll roll it up. Oh, that feels glorious. Okay, right hand is gonna lift up. Palm faces you, elbow points forward. Left hand is down, we're pushing off of it and you're gonna stretch into it. So even though I start to lean down into it, I'm not letting my weight go into the hand, I'm still pushing away from it. Okay, and then turn your chest up, reach long through that top side. Good, but I can tell that this is a little bit too far for me because I'm crunching a lot. So we wanna lengthen both sides. If you can't do that, come up a little higher. Reach and breathe. Close your eyes, you deserve it. Roll it up. Okay, hands to the heart. Bring your hands to your chest, close your eyes. I want you to shake your shoulders and your head. Gotta let it be silly, it's fine to shake it out a little bit. Be so proud of yourself, that was super hard work. Give yourself a positive affirmation right here, right now. Every time after you work out, I want you to try and practice this. Kids are conditioned when we say certain things to them and so are we. So you need to give yourself some credit right now because you deserve it. I don't care what you did. Even if you just like watch this, how to sit out every now and then, next time you're gonna do more. You're getting stronger every time. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself that credit. I'm super proud of you. Be super proud of yourself. You just kick some serious back. This is Fit Pilates High Intensity Interval Training. My name's Lindsay Bushman. This is Pilates On Demand. Please like, subscribe, share, all the things. I can't wait to see you on the next workout tomorrow. Please have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.